In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create a document report. Document reports are usually used for documentation purposes. Um, it can be a compliance reasons or any other um, requirement that is in your company in regards to documentation. And um, ALM Octane has nicely implemented that. And you can find that under the button settings up here on the upper right corner. And I can then click on it and I will see a drop down. In the drop down, I can select document report. And if I click on that, it will open a little window. In this window, you can see two tabs, the setting tab and the content tab. Okay. I'm going to start with the setting tab to show you quickly what is, is in there, what you can do. And the first thing is the title. So you can give your document report a title. You can give it a description. You can also allow that the author is visible um, and also the, the date when it was created. Then you have the file name, so you can also change that uh, according to your needs. You can define if this should be a Word document or a PDF. Uh, if you have editing um, um, requirements, I would say um, doc is mostly the better and easier uh, way to handle that. If you do not need to, to edit it, then you can just use PDF. You can work on the orientation, change it from um, portrait to landscape. You can upload a logo. You can um, add a header or a footer or and a footer. Um, maybe important to know that logo, header and footer can also be defined for the whole organization upfront. That would then mean that it is um, predefined and um, only selected people can choose it and can change it. So that's uh, quite relevant and important. So, so you can define that really on the, on the company level and be, um, if needed or if required. Okay, now I'm going to move over to the content section. And in the content section, of course, we, we have now just defined a bit header, footer, and, and, and title page, and so on, but not more. So now we would like to add some content. And the content coming out of Octane, you have a lot of possibilities what you can add. Um, I'm going to give you a, a quick uh, idea on uh, what I would put in there. For example, if I would uh, be responsible for um, um, uh, uh, release specifically, um, um, I would like to manage, for example, my release quality, or I would like to manage the release status um, um, at a certain point and document that. Then uh, I would, uh, for example, click on backlog items. Okay. In the backlog items, you can now see that I have added, um, I get another plus here. So I can also add related topics to these backlog items. And when I click on it, it will tell me what is possible, what you can add. And what you can do, for example, is you can add tasks of a backlog item, or you can uh, um, add um, as well um, uh, last test runs or covering tests. Um, with my background uh, from the model quality side, of the, uh, I will just use now last test runs um, to see what has been done in in the in the past um, um, uh, for all those backlog items. In Octane, backlog items contain defect uh, user stories and quality stories, so it's it's uh, um, uh, various topics which will be in in that um, specific. Um, 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 uh, backlog um, items. Um, you can add a filter, and if I would, and I mentioned I would like to see it for a release, so I'm just going to say OK, uh, release. Um, if you have other filters uh, requirements, you can always put that in. Uh, for example, if you would like to see a sprint, um, you can see already that the, uh, um, I can do specific elements of a sprint and, and, and so on. So I, I can now choose more things in the sprint. Um, um, that's up, up to me. Let me not do that for now. I will just focus on the release. I can define the ordering. I can use the, for that all the different type of fields that are available. And I can say ascending, descending. Um, um, and then I can add additional fields. Of course, um, I see only the ID and name here. This is, for me, maybe not enough. I would, for example, also like to see who is it is the, um, the, test, the last test run assigned to. So I will say, OK, assigned to is a field that is relevant to me. And in the last test run, of course, I'm also interested to know who, um, 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 what was the status of it. Okay, So the status is a very relevant part for me as well. 
So let me bring that in. Um, if I go to the backlog item, of course, I can add um, um, filters as well. Uh, for example, um, I can also just do the filtering here on the release. Then I don't have to do it on the last test run. Good. So this is basically it from a content point of view. I can, by the way, add more elements to it. I can now also go in and say I would like to see um, specifically all the manual tests and specifically all the last test runs on it because they, there might be some regression testing, which is not specific to a backlog item of this um, uh, release. Um, so that might be also a very relevant information for me. Um, and, and I can do the same thing here. This setup, you do it basically once, and then you benefit from the capability of saving templates. And you can see I have actually created already templates. I have here, for example, a release report. Um, uh, or I have a report demo which I've created, so I have um, created different um, um, reports already um, just to, 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 to run them and not always have to recreate them from scratch. Okay. Um, I have also in the settings done a few things. I have added some comments, a little logo and so on. Now, once I'm, I'm completed with this, uh, by the way, you can show, share these templates with teams and also with the whole organization. I can now generate this document report um, and let me click on generate and what will happen, you will see on the top side here, it will say your report is being processed. You may continue working. And okay, this was very fast. It's a small report, it's a demo project, so there is not too much content in it. But what you can see now is the report is created successfully. On my settings, it's automatically downloading the report. I have allowed to obtain to download immediately the document once um, it is completed. If you have not that set up, or in the meantime, if this is a bigger report and you have left Octane, don't worry. You go to my workspace, or my, my work um, 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 button up here, and you can click on notifications, and you will find your document report up here, ready for download. Okay. Let me now open one of those reports to quickly give you a, a, a feeling of how that would look like. So you can see here, I have a description which is very short. Um, I have here the, the author, the date, I have the, the title, my little logo, I have, I have a header, and down there I have a footer. What you can also see is that automatically the page count is added by um, Octane. So that will help you also to find your way. And it will also help the um, creation of this content um, um, page. On page two, you will always find the content page. Um, it's not very relevant on my side because it's a small report, um, but it could be much more relevant um, if you if you have, a, for example, a, a 200, 300 page uh, report. Um, if I click on backlog items, I will directly jump in the report to there. So it's also like linked. Um, and what I would like to quickly show to you is, is maybe an example of a of a of a story. Um, and you can see here, this is a story, a user story uh, 3040. As a user, I can make payments from Advantage Mobile. And um, um, I have then down here the ID, the pro in progress, the owner. Um, uh, sever there is no severity defined on here. And I have already test runs, so which is a bit inter in, uh, interesting because it's in progress. But anyhow, I have already successful test runs. Um, what you can see now, you have all these um, um, IDs, and the IDs are the link into Octane. So whenever you want to have a look on one of those IDs, you just click on those links here, and it will open Octane on the on the on the proper side. Let me do that maybe with a with a um, with a failed test case, a last test run, um, and here you can see paying from Advantage Online Store has failed. So I can just click and open this, and it will directly go into Octane to that specific man manual run. I can see now, this was the manual run. I can see also that there is a linked defect. I can also have a look on this specific defect if I want and to see what is the status and so on, who is on it and, and all the status around it. So this document is not only allowing you to have a documentation, but it's also allowing you to have a direct linkage to Octane. And by one click, you can see all the documents that are reported here. You can see who is the owner, who is assigned to it, and so on. In this case, there was uh, no assignment, so there was just a, a, a talk um, a running of the test cases. Um, but everything is, is still documented. 
And um, this is um, what I wanted to show you to you now in this short video about Document Generator. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.